Hi, welcome to the video tutorial on Arduino Mids Android. In this project, uh, we are going to see how to retrieve temperature data from Arduino uh, to the Android device. Uh, uh, for this project, I'm using a DHT sensor. So, yes, you can see that. I'm using a DHT sensor and a Bluetooth device. So, instead of uh, connecting to the uh, software serial, for this tutorial, I'm going to directly connect this uh, TX pin to the RX pin, RX pin to the TX pin. Uh, make sure that you are not, uh, you know, connecting TX to the TX and RX to the RX. You have to inversely connect to it. So if you are connecting, uh, if you, you have to connect the TX to the RX pin of Arduino and the TX pin of Arduino to the RX pin of Bluetooth. Make sure that you are doing it. And if you are interchanging this connection, you will not receive any data from your Android device or send any data to your Android device. So make sure this connection you are connecting properly and I have connected a second pin of DHT sensor that is a data sensor pin connected to the second pin of Arduino and the first pin is the uh, VCC so I have combined both the VCC and one pin of the VCC is connected to the 5 volt of Arduino and the ground of Bluetooth and the ground of the last pin the, the third pin of DHT LAN sensor has no connectivity so don't care about this third pin and the, the, this one the fourth pin has connected to the ground you can see that I'll take a wire and connect it to bo both the common grounds and one of the wire is taken to the ground of Arduino so this is what the connection is let's see how to uh, create a app for this and retrieve our data first thing go to project start new project and call it as dh11 i uh, this one is not for dht11 sensor alone you can use any of the temperature and humidity sensor so as usual i'm gonna pick a list picker for bluetooth and change the text now for this time i'm planning to add a image for this let's change the width to parent and I'm gonna change our uh, image so I'm gonna upload it choose a file I think I have it in my desktop my the app inventor here it is okay I need to change it the uh, width and the height. Now control this as 250. Now oh, it should be around 50. Okay, so it is set now. And I need a label. This label is going to store the uh, value that is getting from my Bluetooth device. The whatever the DHT11 temperature and humidity data that is sending from my Bluetooth uh, Arduino through a Bluetooth will be received by the Android phone. So this data will be stored in the label. I want to change the width to fill parent, the height to automatic, and the text label. I want to leave it as the same. Mm, everything is going to be. I'm going to make it a center. Okay. So, and one more thing I'm going to do with this app is whenever I press this button, so I'm going to also place a button here. So here you can see that I used a button called temperature. So whenever I press this temperature button, the uh, whatever the text or the data that is coming and displaying here will be converted, the text will be converted to speech so that I can hear what is the current temperature and humidity right now so let's see how that uh, so the app, the app is over we need a hidden components like and for connectivity I need a bluetooth client and from sensors I need a clock and one more thing I need is to text to speech that will be available in media text to speech Okay, so more or less the user window has completed. We'll move on to blogs now. 
I'm gonna check my bag whether all the data are there or not. My interconnection is damn slow. See how long it is taking to load. Oops, there is nothing there. So I'm gonna create it now. So when I the list picker before picking before picking set list picker elements to set list picker elements. to load the client on an address yes and then when the list picker after picking and the list picker after picking if else it is if then if the Bluetooth client is address uh, connected Go there, yes, Bluetooth client one connected address, list picker one selection. Where it is, pick this, change it to selection. Copy this and paste here. It's placing, sorry, not paste. So when I, when the clock turns, start to take, when timer one start to take, pick a if then, if the Bluetooth client one is connected, duplicate this one, change it to connected. Place here. And we need uh, another if then control. Then what it should do, we are going to compare it. I'll go math. So it is greater than. So greater than symbol. And I need another math function number. The bytes that are available on the Bluetooth is greater. I want to compare that with my Bluetooth client one Blue client one call the Blue client one and check how many bytes that is available to receive if it is greater than a zero then start to receive we have set the label one so then I'm going to call the label one and uh, I'm going to say what are the available bytes I'm going to display on the label one I'm going to set the label one text to Bluetooth client one receive text. Bluetooth client one receive text. Yes, let's see. And the number of bytes is here. We already paste and copy here. So that's it. In the program is over actually. And we have already added another uh, function that when I press the button that is uh, we named as a temperature so current temperature has to be converted from text to speech so if I call this button it should do it should actually call the text to speech engine and uh, convert my speech engine that is actually stored in the label one so I need to call it a label one whatever the text that is available in the label one has to be converted to speech okay and we have completed our app successfully in the designer you can see we have made it in the blogs you can see we have made it and that's it about the app part it is very simple and you can receive all the temperature and humidity data from the Arduino hardware 
So we'll move on to and check once again how it works on the hardware part. So we have already seen the connection and how we have connected the DHT11 sensor and the Bluetooth device. I'm minimizing and this is the program. And this is the, not the program that I have written. It is actually an example program that all, uh, comes with the DHT11 library. So if you want to install the library, just go on and click uh, sketch, add a file, sorry, include a library and manage libraries. And if you go on and type here, and you search, it's, uh, my internet connection is really, really dead slow. That's the reason I cannot do anything here. So this is how, this is what the procedure is. So go uh, in the library manager and start typing DHT11 sensor. You will be uh, written with the search that DHT library. Just go on and click it and install it. That's all about the including library. Oops. I'm gonna cancel it now. So it's getting downloaded. Let's wait and see. It's taking too much of time to just download a 123k file. It's too much. I don't want to waste my time on this. Close. Cancel. Oops. So actually the library is updated. So if I go and press DHT, so here you can see that I installed already installed our two you have to actually install the DHT sensor library by Adafruit. This is the library sensor that we need needed for this tutorial. And once you go on and find the DHT library here, so just go on and click it. DHT sensor library. This is the one example that I'm using here. So here, so if you are uh, using a different type of sensor, like uh, if you are if you want to use a DHT22 sensor, actually you have to uncomment this one. You have to uncomment this one and you have to comment this. So here we have seen that I'm using a DHT11 type. So I need to comment the DH22 and uncomment the DH11 sensor. So that's it. And as usual, the same program. So what I'm using here is from the example program. Uh, I'll just modify the sketch. I have deleted some of the unwanted serial printing function. So that's it about the programming part. And I will show you how I connected physically through my cam window. So here you can see that the DHT11 sensor and the Bluetooth device has connected to my Arduino. And this is how I physically connected. Uh, I will show this uh, how I am retrieving the data from my uh, Arduino that is connected to my Bluetooth and I will uh, I cannot uh, you know show my see here uh, this is really um, my tablet kind of fixing there actually the tablet cannot display by the small cam window so I will show that in my another cam so I will finish the this part here and I will move to my cam and show how I can retrieve the data from my Arduino by connecting my app to the Arduino. So here's our temperature sensor output. Here you can see oops that this one is connected to uh, my Bluetooth device and this is the reading from my DHT temperature and humidity sensor. So I click on temperature. Humidity. Yeah, so this is the app you can use for knowing your temperature and humidity. When you press the temperature, humidity 58.00% temperature 30.00 asterisk C. Yeah, you yeah, can see. And also, if you want to know the temperature, you just need to go and press it. Temperature 32.00 asterisk C. Okay, it's Humidity 58.00% temperature 29.00 asterisk C. Yeah, it's, it's actually uh, saying the before temperature, now it's changed. Humidity 58.00% temperature 30.00 asterisk C. See? Humidity 58.00% temperature 30.00 asterisk C. 
so let's you just create this app and you enjoy thanks for watching this video please subscribe